Hey guys, this is Mac Kids 101 and I actually um I got many 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 requests on how I pimped out my dock like this, which I made it darker and I made my finder icon like however I want. So first off, um for all of you guys who are afraid to customize your dock cuz you're like um no, I want it exactly how Apple made it. Um first off, I'd like to tell you what are the chances that Apple is going to make every icon and everything on the Mac exactly the wet, same way that you think it would look the best? I think it's about zero, so um, just think, keep that in mind so you can do that. Okay, the first thing is to customize your finder icon and any icon you want, basically. Um, you can download an application called Candy Bar, which is what a lot of people use, but... Um, there's something that does the same thing but for free and that's called um, light icon and it's free and I'll have a link to download in the description of the video so just open that up it's gonna load the icons hold on okay so you can upload you can change the desktop or all of these icons you can also change the folder icons the device icons, the dock icons, I just changed the finder dock icon, and some other icons. And then you're going to have to relaunch finder when you're done. So, um, where I got this dock icon um, is, oh, and by the way, you can't do the application icons, but if you want to do an application icon, what you can do is pick your application, pick the other one and then you can just drag that into there in case you want to drag an application drag the bottom one to the other top one okay so where I got my icon is from a website called interfacelift.com and so I'll have a link to that website in the description of the video but this is a great website that has lots of themes and backgrounds and stuff like that so you just go under um, search Aha, icons and then um, and then after a couple pages I found the finder icon I think it was like on the third page ha <laughs> under Mac desktop I clicked on an ad Okay, Macintosh icons, highest rated. Oh, that's pretty cool for the Firefox thing. Okay, well, I I'm I don't really know where it is under here, but I know it was on this website, and I'm not gonna go around and go find it. But um, yeah. So basically, what you do is you take your icon. By the way, I would back up the thing first. So I'll just search finder icon. Let's say I want to do this one. So have the picture, drag it to your desktop, and then basically you just drag it in and then you say apply changes. But I'm actually going to say cancel because I like that icon better. So I'm just going to delete this. Now. Well, how do I customize my dock? Well, there's another application, it's also free. It's called um, Dock Library. Hold on, let me open it up. And, okay, and basically it's going to start with just the default dock, and you're going to have to put more docs. You can either make them yourself or download them from the website that's going to be in the description of the video, and it's called um, leoparddocs.net. And basically, the one I like, I don't know about you, but the one I got was, um, I like it a little darker than the actual dock, but not too much darker, so, hold on, which one? It was this one. But the thing about this one is, it replaced some of the images, so if I say, first off, you gotta say download dock. And then you gotta say okay. Okay. So, basically, you just... Um, say import and then you pick the folder you just drag in the folder and then you say open but thing is um, basically this is what it had instead of this it had a triangle under it like tiger and I like the leopard one so what I did to get mine is I, I kept the background and stuff like that because I really like the darker background 
And then I went under Macintosh HD. I have a link to this path also for you guys, so you can just go say, go to folder, and then just type this in. So Macintosh HD system library core services. By the way, it's the one on the X on with the X on it right over there. So um, you'll know it's core services. And then you say doc. This is where the doc app application, sorry, you really can't talk today, is located. So you right click on it, say show package content, content resources. And here are all the images for the doc. So what I did is I took all of these. These are all the ones that make this work. Drag them into the other folder, say replace, replace, replace. Or we could have just said replace all, whatever. And um, then I import it, but I'm not going to import it because I already have it, that one. But okay, so this is what you do. So let's say I want this one, the ruler doc. So I say after it's imported, you can rename it to whatever you want. And then you say activate. Now I have the ruler doc. I like the ruler doc too, but. So no, I don't like it as much as this one, so I'm going to keep this one for now. Activate. Okay, so uh, I hope this helped you. If it did, please subscribe to us. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.